Hi friends, welcome to Rajasthan Classes. This is Sham Sundar. In this video, we will discuss about immune system, immunity and immune system. Right? First, immunity. Immunity. Immunity means resistance power against the diseases. Roga ni tatubuni shakti. Roga nirodaka shakti. Leda vyadhi nirodaka shakti. Right? Resistance power. So first in Japan. Sir. Hmm? This is first in Japan. Hard water. Hard, hard, hard. Hard. Add. Add. Replace, plus. Mother, Welcome to Rajasar classes. This is Sham Sundar. In this video, we will discuss about immune system, immunity and immune system. So, what is immunity? Right? Immunity means resistance power against the diseases. Resistance power against the diseases is called immunity. In Telugu, Roga nirodaka shikti. Vyadhi nirodaka shikti. Roga alni tatuko ne shikti. Then ne immunity antam. So the study of immunity is called immunology. Right? The study of immunity is called immunology. So is called immunity right resistance power against the diseases is called immunity see immunity is of different uh, immunity is of different types so <coughs> there are levels see when the parasites enter into our body when they take shelter in our body the parasites produce antigens. They produce toxins. So toxic substances called antigens. Prati janakar. Parana jivulu. Edena vyadi karaka jivulu. Pathogens. Means vyadi karaka jivulu. Microbes or anything. Helminths, parasites, protozoans, bacteria, virus, any kind of parana jivulu. Mana dehen lo. Ashram Pandinapuru, Avi, Oka Vishapadar Tarani, Pathiaste, Vatne, Antigens Antam, Pratijanakalu Antam. A Pratijanakalaka Vishapraham Valane, Manaki, diseases. So, e, direct Paranajulu Serum Loki Privation Chakunda, Munde, Enter Kak Munde, Kuni, Mana, Bevasta Lukoni, and under Vatni, Apeste. So, there are three lines. So three lines of defense. Right? Three lines of defense. Manavantum town judant. One itasha alante nana dat kun pawali. Alaga oka line that oka line the garne oka stage low parasites ni apte. They prevent the entry of parasites. If the if the parasites if the pathogens cross that line, if they cross the first line, okay. If the microbes or if the pathogens cross the first line, 
again they enter into second line right in second line also they may be killed suppose if they protect there if they escape from the second line again the third line will be there right so in the third line they will be killed so there are three lines of defense first line second line third line even in the third line also if they escape internally again lymphoid organs right lymphoid organs will produce the antibodies and they kill the microbes right okay so let us see the three lines of defense right lines of defense lines of immunity okay first line of defense first line of defense second line of defense third line of defense right third line of defense so three lines so first line is skin number 1 is skin so if microbes fall on the skin so the entry of microbes into the body is avoided by skin means skin prevent the entry of skin protects our body skin protects our body from microbes so skin also prevents the entry of microbes entry of pathogens so in the first line skin next uh, mucous membrane mucous membrane of gut means from esophagus right from esophagus to rectum in different parts of alimentary canal the inner membrane the inner wall of gut the inner wall of alimentary canal is lined by mucous membrane jeerna nadam ante grasane nodileste anna vahika nunchi anna vahika jeerna ashyamu antramulamu sheshantrikamu ha kolan purishanalam veet anni itlallo kuda lopal vaipu endi shleshma staram untundi mucous membrane or shleshma staram untundi ఆహారం ద్వారా మనకు తెలియకుండానే ఏమైనా ప్యాథోజన్స్ లోపలికి ఎంటర్ అయితే ఇఫ్ ద ప్యాథోజన్స్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు అవర్ గట్ ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు అవర్ డైజెస్టివ్ సిస్టమ్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ఫుడ్ సో దట్ మైక్రోబ్స్ ఆర్ అబ్జార్బ్డ్ బై మ్యూకస్ మెంబ్రేన్ సో మ్యూకస్ మెంబ్రేన్ ఆల్సో ప్రివెంట్ ద ఎంట్రీ ఆఫ్ మైక్రోబ్స్ ఇన్ టు ద బాడీ మ్యూకస్ మెంబ్రేన్ ఆఫ్ గట్ నెక్స్ట్ సలైవా right saliva in saliva one chemical is present enzyme is present lysozyme right in saliva lysozyme right lysozyme is present so 
along with food if microbes enter into pathogens enter into um, buccal cavity or mouth while chewing the process they while chewing the food the food get mixed with the saliva in saliva lysozyme is present this also kills the germs next tears kannilu in a dust dwara in a microbes in the color of the body local to go to the kannilu country kannu epadiki thema ga untundi the eyeball is always moist tears are present so in eyes there are three kinds of glands in all mammals in the eyes there are three kinds of glands right meibomian hardarian and lacrimal glands so that lacrimal glands produce what saliva so in that saliva also in, in that saliva lysosa and in the tears see tears right always our eyes are kept moist because of tears so a water secretion is produced by lacrimal glands so that uh, eye is always kept moist if i gets dry the vision will be blurred aspashtanga kandilo neelu lekunde tadi lekapothe manaku kanpinche drushyam blur ga untundi aspashtanga untundi so thing is in tears also lysozyme is present same in tears also lysozyme is present this also kills the germs and it prevents the entry of uh, my pathogens microbes sheriram lopal ki poniyakunda ikade aapistai idi first line of defense right <coughs> sorry second line of defense right right second line of defense epithelial cells right epithelial cells epithelial tissue say almost in all parts of the body epithelial tissue is present right see there are four kinds of tissues in our body epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and uh, nervous tissue so connective tissue and epithelial tissue is present all over the body almost upakala kanajalam sandhayaka kanajalam kandara kanajalam nadi kanajalam indulo upakala kanajalam sharirama lo unna chaala avayavallallo idi oka rakshakatva changa untundi so the epithelial tissue of different parts of body <coughs> of body different parts of body also kills the microbes kill the germs okay second right second is high temperature our body temperature see our body temperature is 37 degrees centigrade so sometimes if body temperature increases uh in high temperature also the body temperature also due to high temperature of body the germs are killed next uh, inflammatory response response due to inflammation inflammation means uh, swelling right so inflammation means swelling so why swelling takes place means in areolar tissue so in all over the body in all organs of the body areolar tissue is present it is a package tissue binding tissue means this group of cells together form tissue and group of uh, tissues together form organ so in the formation of organ the tissues are binded with the areolar tissue in areolar tissue mast cells are present so that mast cells produce uh, uh, vaso constrictors and vaso dilators so when infection takes place when pathogens takes place when damage takes place so due to inflammation the some chemicals are produced by mast cells of areolar tissue so 
immune response also kills the germs right so inflammation high temperature mucus uh, epithelial tissue and uh, and uh, phagocytes right phagocytes means uh, which kills the microbes phagocytosis any cell that engulf the microbes and kill the microbes capture physical attack means the phagocytes attack the microbes and kill them this process is called phagocytosis kana bakshana antaru phagocytes kana bakshaka kanal phagocytes wherever in the body which kills which captures which engulf the microbes and kill them so like uh, nk cells natural killer cells so this nk cells are one kind of uh, uh, wbc one kind of wbc so in my uh, in blood natural killer cells are present and uh, neutrophils so they are also neutrophils are also uh, called uh, phagocytes right so the second line of defense is epithelial tissue of different parts of body high temperature of body also kills the germs inflammatory response wherever inflammation swelling takes place if any wound takes place tissue is damaged there the mast cells will show response to infection so therefore infl- uh, that infection may cause inflammation so at the time of uh, infection the mast cells produce uh, uh, histamine histamine and bradykinin these two are vasodilators so due to releasing of histamine and bradykinin the this the blood vessels will get swell, swelling so inflammation inflammatory response also uh, protects our body from the microbes and phagocytes right next uh, third line third line is antibodies so in our body antibodies are produced when the antigens when pathogens produce antigens against the antigens uh, antibodies are produced so antibodies is the third line of defense right <coughs> and uh, third line of defense next uh, lymphocytes okay na lymphocytes right so these are three lines of defense three lines of immunity right first line second line of defense third line of defense first line of defense includes skin mucous membrane saliva and tears second line epithelial tissue of different parts of the body and high temperature inflammatory response and phagocytes third line of defense is antibodies and lymphocytes lymphocytes like uh, neutrophils Uh, sorry lymphocytes means uh, a granular white blood cells wbcs are two types granular and a granular right a granular wbcs are two types lymphocytes and monocytes so in lymphocytes there are two kinds what b lymphocytes b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes right okay this is lines of defense lines of immunity let us see the cells of immune system okay na 